Washing your hands is something we do every day. We wash our hands before eating, before using the washroom, while we're cooking. We teach our kids the importance of washing their hands. It's fair to say it's something we're all pretty familiar with, but have we ever really stopped and taken a closer look at why we wash our hands so frequently? Or if we're doing it properly? Or if we're overdoing it? My name is Melissa Maker and I am the host of Clean My Space and it's my job to hold your hand through this whole washing your hands thing. And because there's so much to cover on this topic, I know, hand washing, but it's true. We've partnered with our friend Anna over at Gross Science where she takes a closer look at what it means to be clean and the role that hand washing plays in the microscopic playground that is our hygiene. We've all been there. It's cold and flu season and we end up catching a cold and tracing it back to something, public transit, a visit to our kids' school, or a meeting at work where that very annoying sick person decided not to stay home very annoying. The reality is that keeping our hands clean is one of the most important steps we can take to avoid getting sick and more importantly, spreading germs to others. This is true from person to object, person to person, and ultimately to multiple people. A quick sneeze while you're on the subway, a cough into your hand while preparing lunch in the office kitchen, blowing your nose at the local coffee shop, we all do them, and all of these things have potential risk for spreading germs. Germs from unwashed hands can linger on objects, get into food and drinks, and in some cases, even begin to multiply under the right conditions. Having bacteria on our bodies is actually really important to having a strong immune system, but washing your hands regularly can prevent up to 20% of common illnesses and up to 50% in those with weakened immune systems, such as the elderly or young children. We get it, we need to wash our hands when we're sick, before we eat, after a sneezing fit, or petting a puppy, but is there a better way of doing it? Current research tells us that yes, there is a better way of doing it, and here it is. Always use soap to wash your hands. Soap contains surfactants, which lift dirt and microbes from your skin. Lathering and scrubbing also create friction, which further helps remove dirt and microbes. Remember that microbes can be on any part of your hand, so get into those hard to reach places like under your nails and between your fingers, those little web areas. Once again, the most important point here is to use clean running water when you're rinsing your hands, and then remember to shut off your faucet with a non-hand part of your body, like an elbow or an arm. Dry your hands using a clean towel, a paper towel, or air dry them. And guys, when I'm out in public, I'm a big fan of using good old paper towel for drying my hands, but let me know in the comments down below if you prefer air drying your hands or using paper towel. Current research suggests that washing your hands for about 20 seconds is the ideal amount of time to remove germs. So how long is 20 seconds, you might be wondering? Well, Happy Birthday, the song, is 10 seconds end to end, so you can hum that or play it in your head, or frankly, you can sing it out loud. You do you, just do it twice. And if you want bonus points, or if you touch something rather grimy, give yourself a nice 30 second hand wash. And to do that, you can hum the final Jeopardy theme song in your head. Hopefully you guys know what Jeopardy is. Classic game show. Just a quick note on hand sanitizers. They are all the rage. I mean, they seem to have hand sanitizer stands everywhere these days. I was on a cruise ship and there was hand sanitizer everywhere. They're in malls, hospitals, movie theaters, grocery stores, and schools. Pretty much everywhere you go, that's public. So the deal is these alcohol-based hand sanitizers are great. They can reduce the number of germs on your hands, but sanitizers don't get rid of all types of germs. So washing your hands with soap and water really is the best way to keep your hands clean and reduce the number of microbes on them, but hand sanitizer will do it if you're in a pinch. No Clean My Space video on hand washing would be complete without a DIY hand soap recipe. I mean, come on, if you have to wash your hands, you might as well enjoy the process and save a few bucks while you're at it. So here's how to make your own DIY foamy hand soap for those beautiful little clouds of hand washing goodness. Get yourself an empty foaming hand soap container. To it, you're going to add one cup of water, two tablespoons of Castile soap, and this is optional, but I love doing it, 10 drops of your favorite essential oils or a mix thereof. And by the way, if you put 15 drops in, no one's gonna know. Now you know how to wash your hands the right way. And remember, washing your hands 
helps keep you healthy and people around you healthy as well. So it's a nice thing to do. I'd love to know in the comments down below, do you guys use hand sanitizer? Do you think that we overuse hand sanitizer? What's your take on the whole thing? For me, I really avoid hand sanitizer unless I am in an absolute must use situation. Otherwise, I will always use soap and water but I know a lot of people feel differently about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And just a special thanks to Google's Making in Science team for making this collaboration happen. Don't forget to check out the second half of this collab video with Growth Science by clicking right over there. And for more DIY cleaning recipes, you can click right over here. If you wanna to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel, you totally should. You can just click that button right over there. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.